Hello everybody, my name is Superscroll, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. Where we last left off, we went to, um, to Future City, and came down here, and I said I was going to take on Koga, the poisonous gym leader. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, something else I was going to say. All those trainers that I missed on, like, Cycling Road, which I never actually showed you, so I'll show you that after. All those trainers that we missed, I, I'll go back off screen and, and uh, fight them. I'll probably use them to prepare for the Elite Four, even though they're, they're really low Pokemon, low level Pokemon I mean, but I'll use them to prepare. And I don't understand why there's Psychic-type Pokemon in this gym, because it's a poisonous gym. So why would the trainers around be really high leveled Psychic Pokemon? I don't know, because then wouldn't they be able to take down the gym leader? And wouldn't they become the gym leader then? And I got poisoned, but that's okay, because, and I don't have... Uh, now I, I took the leftovers off of Medusa, so she won't regain health. I mean, she'll get rid of the poison status condition because of Shed Skin, her ability, but she won't regain health, unfortunately. Alright, these battles don't even matter, they're just trivial, so I'm just going to fast forward them. I was, I was, I was like, th kept thinking about my, uh, my uh, sign out last episode, like how I was so stupid sounding, like... I felt like I was one of those people that, when they're talking to, like, boyfriend or girlfriend on the phone, they don't want to hang up. You know? They're like, no, you hang up first. No, you hang up first. And I don't know why I just said it like that, but I don't even know why I'm bringing this up. But I was just like, okay, I'm going to go now. No, wait, guys, I'll do this. Okay, I'm going to go now. See you all later. Oh, wait, look at this. Okay, bye. Bye, everybody. That's what I, it felt like that, basically. So it was kind of weird. So I'm going to work on my endings, I guess. Alright, so we got our box, so I'm gonna send in Horny. Actually, Horny will be very effective on this gym too. I forgot about that. And he got the leftovers, and we'll use Dig. Sand Flash. Hmm. Send out Clamps, because he's not gonna get much action. Actually, he might get action. This is, I guess Water would be decent. Anyway, our box will send in. No, not Medusa. Horny. Fine, cut my attack. Whatever. You're still dead, so it doesn't matter. And like I said, and if you guys didn't know, I can't actually walk through here. If you guys look very closely, you'll be able to see, like, you probably can't see in a recording, but if you're actually playing the game yourself, you can probably see these little white dots on the corners of the squares that you can't walk into. Those are basically invisible walls. So, there's because he's like a trap person or whatever there's invisible walls so you can't actually walk straight to him so actually I don't know how I got to him so fast that was actually pretty good I, I, I play probably play this game so well so much I mean that I instinctively instinctively know exactly where to go but it's not that hard to, to tell where you have to go because you can actually see where the walls are if you look closely enough like I said you probably won't be able to see it in the recording but if you play the game yourself you'll be fine and if you guys are playing along with this, which you might, I don't know, some people do that, you can just follow the path that I took. I wasn't really uh, clear, and, and I did it pretty fast, but I'll show you again the way I took on the way out, just like that. Anyway, here's Koga. We'll take him on now. Wait, wait, ah! Oh! Never mind. A mere child like you dares to challenge me. The very idea makes me shiver with mirth. Very well, I, I shall show you true terror as a ninja master. Poison brings steady doom. Sleep renders foes helpless. Despair to the creeping horror of poison-type Pokemon. That was kind of creepy, actually. This guy's, in fact, so good of a gym leader that in the next generation, he's actually, uh, he actually becomes one of the leaders of the Elite Four. So he gets to do that. And I wanted to do what I was switched to Miami and out front, but that's fine. Yep. In Johto region, he's actually one of the Elite Four members. Yeah, that's how good of a gym leader he, he was. So just don't take him lightly, because he's still a good gym leader. He you know, obviously has higher level Pokemon, and and his Pokemon are actually kind of different. Okay, I don't trust that Psychic will take that out. I mean, Psybeam is going to use Psychic. Alright, this should be fine. Oh, I missed, really? And it's self-destructed. Great. Probably because of that smoke screen that they put up. That's fine. And I think that Psychic should take this out. Yes, it does. That was really easy, guys. I mean, that was kind of pathetic for a member of the uh, a future member of the elite four there it says you, you're allowed to use uh 
surf outside of battle. That's why I wanted to do the gym first. Ah, take this too. And he gives you TM06, which contains Toxic. Toxic is like the only move in this game, I think, that actually um, gives the status infliction of... There, you can just walk on the outside, Snow. It's the only move in this game. I think, is Poison Fang in this game? I don't even remember. But the only two moves that basically poison somebody really badly, which not not really badly, just they're called badly, is uh, Toxic and Poison Fang. Those are the two moves that can poison somebody badly. What that does is basically every turn it does more and more damage. Instead of poison where it just uh, inflicts the same amount of damage each each turn, it uh, badly poison inflicts damage more each turn. And then um, in eight turns, no matter what, unless the person heals, even no, it doesn't matter if the person heals. Even in eight turns, the Pokemon will die no matter what, unless of course the Pokemon is cured of poison, or if the Pokemon switches out and switches back in, because then it resets the eight count. Like say you're on the eighth turn, and then you switch out, and the Pokemon comes back in, it goes back to one, and it starts doing damage like it was like it was the first turn it was poisoned again. I hope you guys understood what I was explaining there, because I have no other better way to do saying that. Anyway, we are now going to take on the Safari Zone, and the reason I did that, I, I wanted to do the gym first, is because, welcome to the Safari Zone. For just $500, you can play the Safari game. You can roam the wide open Safari and catch what you like. Would you like to play? Yes. That'll be $500, please. We only use special kind of Pokeballs here. Yes. Okay, so... Um, yeah, if you come in the Safari Zone, this is where you're going to get the HM Surf. And there's actually items you can get here only by surfing. So I, I wanted to defeat the gym first, so that once I get the surf HM, I could actually surf and get those items right away. Basically, you have a certain amount of steps in the Safari Zone. If you use them up, then you end your game. And, uh... You can find just lots of Pokemon and try to catch them. There's no battling in this game to weak them down. You just have to try to catch them in a Safari, zone, in a safari Ball without weak, uh, weak, uh, weakening them. There's Rock, which basically makes them angry, so they have a higher chance of fleeing, but it makes them easier to catch in a ball. And there's Bait, which makes them uh, harder to catch in a ball, but it makes them stay longer, so that's good to use on Pokemon that are rare, and they try to run away most of the time. Um, so, in this place... Oh my god. Rhyhorn, final catch you Mew. Got the Rhyhorn. A good trick to not you to find Pokemon in the grass, but not waste your steps is to just hit the the arrows once that you turn around like this, that, because then it doesn't count as taking a step. But you do run into Pokemon that way, so it's a good technique. Cut that. I don't really need to catch any Pokemon. I already have more than 60, but I'm just going to for fun. Um, in this area here is actually, if you get lucky, it's very rare, very rare. But you can actually catch a, uh, a Scyther here, which I, d I didn't want to wait to do that, wait all the way to now. So if I did that, basically my next Pokemon that you would have seen me catch was the, what's it called, the Cloister, which actually was a, a long, would have taken a long while, then after that, the only Pokemon, I w the next Pokemon I would have caught would be right here. And this is taking too long, whatever. The next Pokemon I would have caught would have been in here, the Safari Zone. So this area right here, the front area here where you first come in, this is probably the best place to look for a Scyther. And it's, but it's very rare, so you guys are going to be looking for quite a long time. And then in the water here, you can actually obviously use your your rod, your, your super rod or your good rod or anything. And there's also a rare chance that you run into a, uh, a Dratini here. That would be the next Pokemon that I wanted to get. So two Pokemon I would have gotten in the Safari Zone, but you guys would have had to wait until this time that I would actually catch my next Pokemon. So that's why I got I didn't um That's why I didn't wait wait till uh wait till now. That's why I wasted all my time and my money buying up um coins at at Celadon so that I could buy two Pokemon for you guys. One thing I actually probably forgot to mention was that um, in Saladon at the game corner, you can get a Scyther, right? At the prize at the prize place. The prize, uh, if you're turning your coins for a prize. But in Leaf Green, um, instead of Scyther being in the, uh, in the prize corner or whatever, it's actually a Pinsir instead. So what I'm doing right now is actually I'm looking for a Dratini. There, oh, a Dragonair, nice! I'm going to try to catch that. 
I actually got really lucky. Oh no, don't fly! I got really lucky there. Those are really rare. Please? No. Okay. I'm gonna look for a dragon, a, Dr a Dratini or a Dragonair. For, and I'm gonna try to catch, um... I'll do that off screen actually. But basically, there's a chance of the Dratini or Dragonair having an item called a Dragon Fang. And what that does, it's it's a hold type item that boosts the moves of gra uh, of dragon type moves. And really, those those items. Oh, a Kangish Con! Oh my God, I am getting so lucky with these Pokemon. This is another rare Pokemon that you'll be able to find here, and um, it's actually really really hard to catch. They always try to flee. The rare Pokemon try to flee, so you probably want to start off with a bait, even though that'll make them harder to catch. And as soon as I say that, I catch it, of course. This is a really rare Pokemon, a very good Pokemon, like I said, it's very defensive, has a lot of HP, and, uh, I got really lucky so far. I've already found a, um, there's a Leaf Stone. I've already found two rare Pokemon in here. That's amazing. I think there's a better chance of catching, no, there's not a better chance of catching a Dragonair here, but it's to see, it's still you can catch one here. Anywhere in this water area, you'll be able to get one. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, so I got really lucky, and I can't believe I did that. Actually, you can also get a do do here. There's tons of and sunny day. Okay, this grass here is also good for catching a scyther here. I think this would be one of the best areas for looking for a scyther. Is I don't think there's any really real difference in the, in the uh, percentage of uh, encounter, but it makes you feel better if you come here. No, just joking. If so, anyway, if you run out of steps or you run out of, po uh, of safari balls in this area. The full restore. There's a lot of good items here. If you run out of either of those, then your time is up in the safari zone. So you gotta not waste your time like I've been doing. I guarantee I'm not gonna make it to the place I need to get. But um, usually what happens is you get really close to where you need to be, and then when you're right in front of it, your time ends, which really pisses some people off. It does me as well. Quick claw. Okay, so what you do is that's a hold item that all sometimes makes your Pokemon faster than the other. So if you have a really slow Pokemon and you give that to them, there's a chance they'll go first sometimes. I'm hoping to run into some other rare Pokemon here. I doubt that's going to happen. You can, I think you can run into a, a very low chance of running into a Chansey here. <laughs> you have a very low chance of running into a Chansey. Haha. <laughs> no. If you can get a Chansey here, you can get probably a Clefairy. Oh, no, I don't think you can get a Clefairy here. Never mind. Just just Chansey is, is one of the pink, the one of, one of the pink rares that you can get here. Yeah, I said pink rares. Get over it. That music's really weird when I fast forward it like that. Um, so I'm gonna come off screen and try to get some Dragonairs, dra Dratinis and stuff. What's here? Oh, same place here. Alright, is there an item up here? I'm gonna run out of time very soon, I know it. I'm just gonna explore right now and get all the items. Which show you where they all are. I, I know where they all are, but I've never actually gotten all of them because they always there. He goes, ding dong. Time's up. Your safari game's over. Blah blah. Okay, I'm gonna go back and just get to where I need to be. Again, I'm actually gonna cut back to where I was so you guys don't have to watch that all over again. See you guys there in a sec. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm back here, and I wanted to get that ball there, so I'm gonna go get that. But I think there might be something down here. Yep. And what's this? Rest house, okay. Tossing rocks at Pokemon might make them run, but they'll be easier to catch. I hiked a lot, but I didn't see any Pokemon I wanted. Okay, that's not really important. Just wanted to show you guys that quickly. Anyway, I went actually, and I actually went and found a, dra a Dragonair, and I caught it. I'm hoping it has a Dragon Fang. Okay. The rarity of the Pokemon is, I'm not entirely sure how rare it is, but I know it's very rare to, to actually find one. Oh my god, my time's up again. Because I probably wasted it looking for the Dragonair. Anyway, so I went and caught a Dragonair. I hope it has a Dragon Fang. If it doesn't, I'm going to be, it's not, I'm not going to be that mad because, it, I mean, it's really rare to find. I only went and caught one. It took quite a while to find, actually. Um, and there's like a 1% chance of it actually having a Dragon Fang. If I don't actually get it, um, there's no point in wasting my time trying to look for it because it only boosts the moves by like 10%, so it's not going to be too much damage. It's not going to do much more damage anyway. 
so it's not really worth it, but I'm going to look for it anyway. I'll cut again, be back to where I was. Actually, no, I'm going to go, and you see that item that was I wanted to get? I'm going to go get that item, because it's right there. So I'll show you guys that, but I'll cut to the when I get there. Alright, so see you guys in a second. Alright guys, I'm not back where I said I was going to be, but I wanted to show you guys. If you guys come north of where the stairs were here, before you go down south or whatever, if you come up here, you can actually get a steel wing. And... Come on, what is this? Nidoran, I don't care for you. I already got your evolution. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hey, okay, forget that. I'm going to cut that out. You get a protein up there. Um... Then you come down here, and this will take you back to where we were, I believe. Yep. And then you have to go around there, and that's where you get this item here. This is what, something you need, actually. This is the gold teeth here. You need those, so you want to come here and get them. Very important that you have those. Then TM32 double team. You want that as well. Then if you come into this house here, the special looking house, it's different from all the rest, you will... Me see this guy in here and talk to him. Ah, finally, you're the first post person to reach the secret house. Although I had made a campaign for our grand opening, I was getting worried that no one would win a. In oh my God, I was getting worried that no one would win our campaign prize. Congratulations, you have won. You get HMO3. He's the attendant. HMO3 contains Surf. Pokemon will be able to ferry you. Blah blah blah. Super lucky for winning a fabulous prize. This is why I wanted to get go to the gym first because then once you get Surf here. Oh, and if you hit the thing there, it'll tell you how many steps you have left. You see, I have balls 29, and I have 135 steps left, or used, out of 600. How about, how, not how many I have left, and how many... Okay, no, that's how many, how, how, how many I have left. I have 133 steps left, out of 600. Anyway, go to bag. And I'm, I said, I, was, I, I already had the TM, obviously, because of the cheat I had to use to fix this. But I said I wasn't going to use it, until I actually got it. So here I actually have it. Now I'm going to teach Clamps it, and finally he'll be able to actually have a really powerful water move. I mean, Water Pulse is, it confuses the Pokemon, but it doesn't do that much damage. So Surf is actually like one of those, it's, like I said, it's one of those powerful, if not the most powerful. Anyway, so I wanted to get the, go to the gym so that I could actually use Surf now to come down here. And I'm sure you can Surf and find some Pokemon. You can get a Psyduck. And be right back. Alright, I'm back. That wasn't much of a cut, I know. I'm probably going to cut this whole section out until I'm back here. Whatever. And you come up here. Oh, that doesn't take you anywhere. Okay. So that wasn't that important. I thought there was something, like, good down there. No! I wanted to get that item! Come on! Give me that item! No! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. I'm not going to go back for that item. That's not worth it. Okay, guys. Now that we finally have done that so many times, I mean, that was annoying, but that's fine. Um... So now guys, remember this dude's house here, the Safari game, the Safari uh, Zone Warden's home? If you come to this house here, after you have the gold teeth, obviously, and you talk to him, Terry gave the gold teeth to the warden. The warden popped his teeth, popped his, in his teeth. Thanks, son, you're a real lifesaver. No one could understand a word that I said, not a one. I was too ashamed to show my face around the office, even. Okay, let me give you something for your trouble. And then you get HMO4, which contains Strength. Very good move. Strength is awesome move. So now I have Strength. Oh wait, HMO4 he gives, right? Strength, yes. So, now that I have that, oh, oh only, only Horny can learn it? Really? Because he already has his moves. And Thrash is more powerful, but it does leave you confused. So I'm going to get rid of Thrash. I know this isn't a smart idea. But it does leave you confused, and you, you get locked into it, so you can't heal or, any, or switch out or anything like that. So, um... I know, that was a really bad move, but that's fine. And if you move this boulder here, you can get a rare candy. So that's that's that. And, uh... I, what am I trying to say now? Yes, now actually... Now that I have... Surf, I am going to. Yeah, I'll do that. Well, I'm I'm gonna end off the episode here, guys, because we already done quite a bit in this. Uh, we took on the Safari Zone really only, but 
No, we took on the gym leader as well. That's fine. Um, so... Next time, let's play Pokemon Fire Red. I'm actually gonna go and catch a new team member for my team. Something I've been waiting for. I, as I said, when I get to... When I get the HM Surf, I'll be able to catch the Pokemon out. And actually, we'll be able to catch a different Pokemon as well that I will not be using, but I will be showing because it's rather important. Not important, it's just cool, and you guys probably want to see it. So, I will see you guys next time for Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red.